Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. I have two important things to share with you today. The first one is my gratitude to veterans and their service, whether they are alumni, faculty, staff, students, everyone. A reflection of their service, I think, is yours, your sacrifices, your ability to step up for the events of this year in the triple trilemma of the pandemic, civil unrest, and the economic downturn. And uh, the first ingredient in the times of today of the slow panic or anxious dissonance is that you take care of yourselves. I think about this frequently. I worry about this every day. I look to you and others for how we can do this so that you do not lose the empathy. You do not lose that energy. You don't lose that, that picture of yourselves where you know where things are and how you fit in this, that you don't fold inwards. And um, look you know, at the website at the bottom of this message for the resources, but the obvious foundation of all is flexibility. Everybody is different. Everybody thinks differently, works differently. And, uh, you know, we are looking to you and your immediate or distant leaders to really accommodate it this way. Because the kernel of all of that is the hope that we will get through this together. One of my friends, late friends, uh, Václav Havel, who I shared a lot of discussions with, uh, defined it best, at least for me, as a hope is not the conviction that everything will turn out the way you want it. It is more an affirmation that the things make sense regardless of what they turn out. And uh, in my read, the events of this year and the response that you have mounted in, in its wake makes sense. And that's my hope and thank you all.